You know, it can be hard to keep track of vehicle recalls, searching for the makes and models that need repairs. That, that takes a lot of work. So as a result, thousands of recalled cars are still out there on the road. But now there's a new search tool. Josie Sturman's live in Arlington with the details in this 7 on your side consumer alert. Josie, tell us about it. Well, Allison, right now, just in the D.C. area, there are thousands of cars that have not had those recalls fixed, and they can be sold to you at any moment without anyone saying a word. But this new tool has been developed to help you check before you buy or even check out a car you already own. Rick Epstein's Jeep has stood the test of time. It's lasted 13 years, but seeing the high number on his odometer has fueled his search for a new ride. I'm looking for unbiased, neutral information. Epstein and other car shoppers and owners will soon get it thanks to the feds. More than a year after promising a new tool to help trace recalls, tomorrow the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is unveiling one. We absolutely need to have that. We need to have information. The problem is if you don't have the information, you can't take action. Until now, the information on recalls pinned to a specific VIN hasn't come from Uncle Sam. Instead, NHTSA's website only let consumers search by make and model for problems. If you wanted to know if your car specifically had a recall, you'd have to turn to private companies like Carfax or the manufacturers themselves. If you asked a used car dealer, our seven on your side team discovered they didn't have to tell you, and we found they didn't always know. So did it surprise you when I show up and I say, hey, that car is recalled? Well, yeah, it did. It was a surprise for me. A surprise that could put your safety at risk. Now with the new tool, there's no excuse. It will let anyone search online for recalls for free. Yeah, it'll be good to have a, something available that we can... It'll be easy access for all the cars. Access shoppers like Rick Epstein say they need to have so they can be informed without worrying who supplied the information. I'm hoping that if it comes from the feds, it's more reliable than coming from um, a car manufacturer. I'm not accusing them of being biased, but seriously, that's always a risk. But this new tool has no impact at all on the regulations. So even if a used car dealer checks using this tool, new tool and finds a recall, they still have absolutely no obligation to tell you about it before they buy. Live in Arlington, Josie Sturman, ABC 7 News. Thanks, Josie.